Nine entries up behind the gate, race one. Caliverta Noble, Island Navigator, Rainbow Coalition, Skip the Penny, Miramichi Dino, Cherokee Hanover, The Cloudmaker, Yankee Paradise, and Doris Angus. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Island Navigator out first looking for the lead. Caliver Noble down on the inside is two. Cherokee Hanover in the middle of the racetrack is three deep and three. Doris Angus down on the inside is four. Rainbow Coalition comes out of its five. Yankee Paradise slips into six. Skip the penny. Holds down seven. Miramichi Dino and the Cloudmaker down the back stretch to the quarter. Cherokee Hanover still three deep. He wants the top and he's driving for the lead now. Island Navigator will be parked two. Caliver to Noble down on the inside three. On the outside four, Rainbow Coalition. Doris Angus five. Yankee Paradise looks to the outside six. Skip the Penny follows her seven. Miramichi Dino is eight. And the Cloudmaker. Opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. Cherokee Hanover now has the top by one. Island Navigator is tied up in two. Driving on the outside now still parked in three is Rainbow Coalition. Down on the inside in four is Caliver to Noble on the outside five Yankee Paradise driving six third over is Skip the Penny racing seven Doris Angus Miramichi Dino and at the back is the cloud maker the half raced in 101 flat they move now to the five eighths still out front by a half a length Cherokee Hanover Rainbow Coalition bears down on the outside and two Island Navigator three Yankee Paradise tips three deep from the outside four coming four deep now is Skip the Penny from five Miramichi Dino six, Caliver to Noble seven. Doris Angus looks for room eight in the cloud maker. Down the back stretch past the three quarters. They race on now with Skip the Penny to the top by one. Racing two and fighting back is Cherokee Hanover Yankee Paradise is three. Way on the outside and four is Miramichi Dino. Down on the inside five, Al Island Navigator the three quarters and one thirty three and one. Less than an eighth to go, it's all skip the penny off the top. The race will be for two, Cherokee Hanover still fighting on. Driving way on the outside is Miramichi Dino as they race through the stretch to the wire. It's all skip the penny, racing for two, Cherokee Hanover. Island Navigator on the outside is gonna get up. Cherokee Hanover will be three. You're an official winner of race one, number four, and your card skipped the penny. Ten-year-old Bay Pace and Gelding by Senior Skipper. Own trained and driven by Jason McDougall. Time of the mile, 2-4. For number four, skip the penny. Eight entries, top of the stretch, race two, Foundly Schmark, Cindy Ella, Lone Water Hobo, Bill Batter, found Founding Basque, Line of Fire, Mathers Bled, and Unfair Advantage, here they come. They're off and racing, Lone Water Hobo out first looking for the lead, Foundly Schmark down on the inside with Cindy Ella between horses, they're three deep and all want the top. It's Foundly Schmark down on the rail, Cindy Ella on the outside is two, Lone Water Hobo takes back, finds a hole in three. Bill Batter comes out of it, looking at it four. Bounding Basque is five, finding a hole in six. Is Mathers bled. Line of fire is seven, an unfair advantage at the back. They come out of it with number one, Foulish Mark off the top. Cindy Ella looks at it from two. Lone Water Hobo is tied up in three. Bill Batter is four. Bounding Basque is five. Line of fire moves quickly on the outside. Now six, Mathers bled is seven. And on fair advantage after an opening quarter and a brisk 28 and 3. It's foulish marked by 1. Cindy Ella is 2. Line of fire up on the outside coming quickly now 3. Down on the inside and 4 is Lone Water Hobo. On the outside driving 5 is Bounding Bass. Looking at a 6, Bill Batter. Up on the outside 7 is on fair advantage and Mathers Blood at the back. They move now past the half to the five eights. It's foulish mark by one. Line of fire on the outside is two. Half raced in a minute and two fifths. Cindy Ella is three. Lone Water Hobo looks for room four. Bounding Basque on the outside is five. Bill Batter down on the inside is six. Unfair advantage looks to go three deep from seven. And at the back is Mathers Bled. They race to the three quarters and it's still foulish mark. Line of fire is two. Unfair advantage way up on the outside driving three Cindy Ella looks for room down along the rail four They race the top turn second and final time. It's still foully schmark Cindy Ella enjoys a perfect trip to three quarters and one thirty one and two unfair advantage 
Up on the outside is three. Lone Water Hobo now shakes loose four. Off the turn. Less than an eighth to go. It's Foulish Mark trying to close it out. Cindy L up on the outside. Lone Water Hobo waits for the passing lane. Racing through the stretch. It's Foulish Mark. Lone Water Hobo on the inside. It's going to be awful close. It looks like Foulish Mark, Lone Water Hobo, and Cindy Ella. Your official winner of race two, number one in your card, Foully Schmark, is a six-year-old bay pacing gelding by Tyler's Mark. Owned and trained by Robin White, Danny Romo does the driving. Time of the mile, 2-2. Two, two. Number one, Foully Schmark. Nine entries up behind the gate, race three, Charcoal's Image, top of the charts, Darlington's Boy, Cocan Bullet, Sonoma Benbolt, Double Double. Bea Shalur, Lance's Lad and Rose's Rose are at the top of the stretch. Here they come. <coughs> They're off and racing. Sonoma Ben balled out first looking for the leads. Top of the chart grabs the racetrack from the two hole. She now heads the front. Sonoma Ben balled up on the outside. Now settles into two. Driving out three is double double. Down on the inside four is Charcoal's Image. Way on the outside, five is Bea Shalur. Kokan Bullet settles into six, Lance's Lad, seven. Rose's Rose is eight, and at the back is Darlington's Boy. Down the back stretch to the quarter, double double, up to take the top. Top of the charts, removes, wants the front, it's top of the charts, coming quickly now and driving to the top. Double double is two, Sonoma Ben Bolt, three. Bea Shalur keeps coming on the outside, four. Lance's Lad follows him, five. Down on the inside is six, is Charcoal's Image. Rose's Rose is moving up, seven. Cocan Bullet is eight, and at the back is Darlington's Boy. The opening quarter in 31 seconds flat. It's top of the charts by one. Bea Shalor goes a tough trip on the outside, two. Double, double down on the inside is three. Lance's Lad on the outside is four. Racing now five is Rose's Rose. Looking at it, six, Sonoma Ben Bolt. Cocan Bullet is seven down on the inside, eight, Charcoal's Image, and Darlington's Boy is at the back. Half raced in 102 and three. They move now to the five eighths, and it's still top of the charts by a neck. Bea Shalur on the outside is two. Double double down on the inside is three. Lance's Lad covered up in four. Rose's Rose tips three deep from five. Sonoma Benbolt down on the inside six. Winding up four wide on the outside, and seven is Cocan Bullet. Driving down on the inside is Charcoal's Image and Darlington's Boy moving from the back. They race past the three quarters and it's Bea Shalur now driving to the top. Roses, Roses out three deep and has some pace. Darlington's boy gets into the action now four. Down on the inside between horses five is double double. Three quarters and one thirty four and four. Roses, Rose out in the middle of the racetrack shows the top. Bea Shalur is still there too. Darlington's boy gets set to come four deep from three. Driving through the stretch, it's Rose's Rose. Darlington's boy aiming on the outside at the line. It's Rose's Rose going to win it. Darlington's boy two. In for three is Bea Shalur. There's the winner of race three. Number nine, Rose's Rose. Three-year-old brown pacing filly by Boone and Crockett. Owned, trained, and bred by Glenn Smith. Bernard McCollum does the driving, gives the filly a first mark at the races of 207 and 2. Nine entries up behind the gate, race four, Dr. Dexter, Wendy Fashion, Tammy's Pride, Poetic Forecast, Clomel Superior, Major Governor, Blue Mineral First, Crafty Abe, and Swinging Wave. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and racing windy fashion off the gate first looking for the lead. Tammy's pride up on the outside too. Swinging wave down along the rail is three. Poetic forecast looks at it from four. Clomel Superior on the outside is five. Dr. Dexter down on the inside is six. Major Governor racing out of seven. Blue Mineral first is eight and at the back is Crafty Abe. Down the back stretch to the quarter. Windy Justice off the top by one. Settling in now and driving out of two is Tammy's Pride. Swinging Wave looks at it from three. Poetic Forecast is four. Clawmill Superior five. Dr. Dexter six. Blue Mineral first on the outside. Seven. Major Governor is eight. And Crafty Abe at the back. Opening quarter and 30 and a fifth. They move past the three-eighths and it's the favorite windy fashion off the top by one. 
Driving two on the inside is Tammy's Pride. Swinging Wave looks to the outside from three. Clawmill Superior moves up with the cover four. Poetic Forecast down on the inside is five. Moving up six, Blue Mineral first. Major Governor is seven. Down on the inside in eight is Dr. Dexter and Crafty Abe at the back. They move now to the five-eighths after the half. It's windy fashion. Swinging Wave up on the outside two, a half and 102 and three. Tammy's Pride down on the inside is three. Woodick forecast is four. Clawmill Superior covered up in five. Racing six on the outside is Blue Mineral first. Dr. Dexter is seven. Coming three deep eight is Major Governor. At that, the back is Crafty Abe. They move fat down to the three quarters. It's windy fashion. Swinging wave pushing the issue on the outside to Major Governor's trying to sweep the whole field, and he looks like he might be successful. It's windy fashion. Major Governor way on the outside too. Swinging wave comes up in the rig and now three. Three quarters and one, 35 and one. It's windy fashion, swinging wave, bearing down on the outside now two. Major Governor drops back three, Clawmill Superior. He waits the stretch four, off the turn. They drive through the stretch, it's windy fashion, swinging wave on the outside as they race on home. It's windy fashion, swinging wave. Windy fashion's gonna win it, swinging wave two. Clawmill Superior is three. Circle now, your unofficial winner of a race four, number two in your card, Windy Fashion. He's a three year old brown facing Colt for Stargaze Hanover. Owned by Eric Webby, trained by Blair Laffin. Robert Laffin does the driving, time of the mile, two, five, and three. For number two, Windy Fashion. Nine entries up behind the gate, race five. Blue again, Fascination VL, Charitz, Lady Vet, Income Wilco, Shockatees, GL Bobby, Velvet O'Hara, and Township Mimi. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing Fascination VL off the gate first, looking for the lead. Charitz between horses is two. Lady Vet's three deep driving into the turn three. Looking at it four is Township Mimi. Income Wilco looks at it from five. GL Bobby on the outside six. Velvet O'Hara looks at it seven. Blue again and Shaka Tees. Down the back stretch to the quarter it's Fascination VL. Coming hard on the outside two is Lady Vet. Charitz down on the inside is three. Pacing at a four is Township Mimi. Income Wilco looks at it five. GL Bobby is six. Velvet O'Hara parked on the outside in seven. Blue again is eight and at the back is Shaka Tees opening quarter in 29 seconds flat. Head and head battle at the front. On the outside is Lady Vet. Down along the rail is Fascination VL and Charitz enjoys the trip. Looking at it from four is Township Mimi racing five and moving to the outside is GL Bobby. Income Wilco is six. Velvet O'Hara seven. Blue again is eight and Shaka Tees at the back. They move past the half and 58 and a fifth, and it's Fascination VL still holding the top. Lady Vet is dropping back two. Charitz is tied up in three. Looking at it four is Township Mimi. GL Bobby is five. Income Wilco is six. Velvet O'Hara seven. Shaka Tees comes three deep from eight, and Blue again at the back. They move to the three quarters, and it's still Fascination VL. Lady Vet is two. Charitz is still there three. GL Bobby comes up on the outside four. Racing the top turn, second and final time, the three quarters and one, 29 and four. It's still Fascination VL. Sharitz is two. GL Bobby is three. They're all starting to close in. Less than an eighth to go. It's Fascination VL hanging tough. Sharitz is there too. GL Bobby three. Shockatees in the middle of the racetrack is four. Driving through the stretch, Fascination VL. Shockatees takes dead aim and reels her in. It's Shockatees getting up. Fascination VL2. It looks like GL Bobby for three. Number eight, five, number six in your card, Shockatees. Four year old Bay Pacing Mare by Winner's Accolade. Oma JB Bootlier and Bobby Workman Danny Romo trains and drives. He's back to the winner's circle for the second time this evening, given Shockatees a new lifetime record of 202 and 2. Nine entries up behind the gate, race six, Fleet Director, Lonesome Billy, by program, Beth Sackelade, Sicily, Easy Bruce, Rock and Michael, G. Joe, and Classic Charm Trails. They're at the top of the stretch, here they come.
They're off and racing. Fleet Director out first looking for the lead. Sicily fires out from the middle of the racetrack. Classic Charm comes out of it three. Driving up on the outside four is Best Accolade. Down on the inside five is Lonesome Billy. Looking at it six is by program. G. Joe is seven. Off the turn down the back stretch to the quarter. Easy Bruce holds down eight and Rock and Michael at the back. Sicily grabs the top. Fleet Director is two. Classic Charm comes out of it three. Lonesome Billy is four. That's Accolade moving up on the outside now for five. Down on the inside six by program. G. Joe moves out with cover from seven. Easy Bruce is eight and at the back is Rock and Michael. They move past the opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. It's Sicily takes them there. Up on the outside coming quickly now two is the heavy favorite Bess Accolade. Down on the inside in three is Fleet Director. G. Joe on the outside is four. Classic Charm looks at it from five. On the outside third over six is Rock and Michael. Down on the inside in seven is Lonesome Billy. Moving up eight is Easy Bruce and by program at the back. They move on now to the five eighths and it's still Sicily. Best accolade puts pressure on the outside to the half in 102 and 1. They move past the 5 eighths. It's still Sicily. Best accolade on the outside, too. Fleet Director gets a good trip three. Covered up in four is Gijo. Down on the inside five is Classic Charm. Rock and Michael looks at it from six. They race the back stretch to the three quarters. It's Best accolade now showing his nose in front. Gijo in the middle of the racetrack is two. Fleet Director up between horses is three. Dropping back down on the inside as they race the top turn, second and final time. They're racing the top turn, 133 and two. It's Bess Accolade off the top. G. Joe on the outside, two. Fleet Director still looks for room three. Way on the outside, four is Rock and Michael. They're off the turn, taking them home is Bess Accolade. G. Joe on the outside, Rock and Michael. Fleet Director closing up with Classic Charm. Way on the outside, Easy Bruce. It's gonna be Bess Accolade, Fleet Director. Looks like classic charm might have got up the inside for three. Winner circle now. Your unofficial winner of race six, number four in your card, Bass Accolade. Four year old brown piece and gelding by winner's accolade. On the Don Smith, Debbie Carey the trainer, Dave Carey the driver, time of the mile, two, four, and one. For number four, Bass Accolade. Nine entries up behind the gate, race seven, Silent Assault, Super Bowl Shuffle, Dolly Finesse, Daystar Elmahurst, Northwind Jamie, No Fear, Candy Claudel, Matsky, and Abel Flyer, here they come. They're off and pacing, Northwind Jamie fires on the outside, looking for the top, Silent Assault down on the inside, Abel Flyer goes to a break, No Fears, three deep around the first turn. It's Silent Assault, Northwind, Jamie between horses, no fear, three deep. Way on the outside, looking at it from four, is Matsky driving now out of five, is Dolly Finesse, Daystar Almahurst is six, Candy Claudel seven, Super Bowl Shuffle, and Able Flyer at the back. They move up to the opening quarter, Silent Assault takes them there. Driving on the outside, two is no fear. Northwind Jamie down on the inside is three. Matsky's tight up in four. Opening quarter, 28 and two-fifths. Dolly Finesse now tightening up five. Candy Claudel moves on the outside, six. Daystar Elmahurst, seven. Super Bowl shuffle and Able Flyer trails. Off the turn in front of the grandstand to the half. Silent Assault on the front end. Northwind Jamie is tight up in two. No fear on the outside, three. Dolly Finesse moves out with cover, four. Down on the inside, looking at it from five, is Matsky coming three deep from six, is Clan Candy Claudel. Daystar Elmahurst is seven. Super Bowl Shuffle is eight, and nine in trailing is Abel Flyer the half in 59 seconds flat. They move down the back stretch to the three quarters. It's still Silent Assault. Matsky up on the outside is two. Northwind Jamie pacing at a three. Candy Claudel is four. Daystar Elmahurst is five. Dolly Finesse on the outside is six. Super Bowl Shuffle seven. Able Flyer and No Fear. They race to the top turn, second and final time, Silent Assault. Matsky's within striking distance now, too. Northwind Jamie, three. Candy Claudel on the outside is four. Daystar Elmahurst, five. Dolly Finesse is six. Super Bowl Shuffle, seven to three quarters and one, 30 and one. It's still Silent Assault. Matsky takes aim on the outside, too. 
They'll race through the stretch to the wire. Silent Assault, Matsky on the outside. He's not going to have enough. It's going to be Silent Assault opening up. Matsky two, Daystar Almahurst is three. Circle now. You're an official winner of race seven, number one in your card, Silent Assault. He's a four-year-old bay pacing gelding by Silent Majority. Home by John McCachran, Blair Laffin, the trainer. Robert Laffin gives Silent Assault a new lifetime record, 201 and three fifths. Eight entries up behind the gate, race eight, Katero, Bobby's Fancy, Candidate, Bionic Trick, Mary's First, Aiken Hot Heels, Peter Blood, Sparkling Cloud, here they come. They're off and racing Bobby's Fancy out first looking for the lead. Katero down on the inside is two. Mary's first in the middle of the racetrack is three. Sparkling Clouds tight up in four. Candidate finds a hole five. Bionic Trick looks at it from six. Eight heels on the outside seven. And Peter Blood trails. Down the back stretch to the quarter. Bobby's Fancy up front by one. Katero is right there too. Parked on the outside three is Mary's first. Sparkling Cloud is four. Two lanes back and five is Candidate. Driving at a six bionic trick. Looking at it from seven is Aiken Hot Heels and Peter Blood trails. They move past the opening quarter. Katero back to the outside and grabs the top. Bobby's Fancy will race at a two. Sparkling Cloud is three. Mary's first looking to the outside again from four. Candidate driving at a five. Up on the outside six is Aiken Hot Heels. Down on the inside seven bionic trick and Peter Blood. Opening quarter and 30 and a fifth. It's Katero off the top by one lane. Bobby's Fancy gets a good trip too. Mary's first. First up on the outside is three. Candidate following with cover four. Sparkling Cloud down along the rail five. Aiken Hot Heels on the outside is six. Bionic Trick on the inside is seven. And Peter Blood on the outside is eight. Half raced in 102 and three. They move now to the five eighths. It's still Katero the best by one. Mary's first. Keeps moving up on the outside, too. Bobby's Fancy is three. Candidate covered up in four. Down on the inside, Sparkling Cloud is five. Aiken Hot Heels goes three deep. There goes Candidate with some pace. They move on past the three quarters. It's Katero. Candidate takes dead aim on the outside is two. Aiken Hot Heels follows him three. Down on the inside, Bobby's Fancy looks for room four. Three quarters, 134 and two fifths. Katero hangs tough. Candidate still there on the outside, too. Bobby's Fancy will await the passing lane three. On the outside, four. Is Aiken Hot Heels between horses five. Sparkling Cloud, they're off the turn. Coming to the payoff, it's Katero. Candidate on the outside, driving. Sparkling Cloud is three deep. It's going to be Katero. Up for two. Awful close. Looks like Sparkling Cloud and Candidate three. Back to the winner's circle. You're on official winner of race eight, number one in your card, Katero. Nine-year-old bay pacing horse by landslide. Owned by Nathaniel Spence, trained by Don Sutherland. Jim Davis, the driver, time of the mile, two, four, and two. Nine entries up behind the gate. Race nine, Oyster Stew in on top. Foremost Abe, another Springer, Entirely Mike's, Granite Gambler, Musket Abbott, Reactor Nuclear, and Hats Off Hartwood. Here they come. They're off and racing in on top. Gets the first call. Musket Abbott firing quickly on the outside is up now for two. Oyster Stew down on the inside is three. Hats Off Hartwood comes out of it looking at it four. Foremost Abe is a length back in five. Driving at a six is another Springer. Entirely Mike's is seven down the back stretch. Granite Gambler is eight and Reactor Nuclear. They race on to the quarter. It's in on top by one. Musket Abbott is tied up in two. Looking at a three is Oyster Stew. Tied up now in four is Hats Off Hartwood. Foremost Abe. Driving at a five. Another Springer is six. Entirely Mike's seven. Granite Gambler eight and Reactor Nuclear. Quarter and 29 and one. In on top by a full length. Musket Abbott is there too. Moving first up on the outside three is Hats Off Hartwood. Down on the inside four is Oyster Stew. Foremost Abe is out with cover in five. 
Driving now up on the outside for six is Granite Gambler. Another Springer is seven, entirely Mike's eight, and Reactor Nuclear. They race on past the half. It's in on top. Looks comfortable up front. Musket Abbott enjoys a good trip out of two. Hats off Hartwood. Up on the outside is three. Oyster Stew is four. Foremost Abe, five. Another Springer looks at it from six. They race past the half in a minute and a fifth. Granite Gambler is seven, entirely Mike's eight, and Reactor Nuclear. Down the back stretch to the three quarters is still in on top. He looks strong up front. Musket Abbott two. Foremost Abe up three deep now to grab three. Hats off Hartwood drops back four. Oyster Stew along the rail is five. They race the top turn, second and final time. In on top has put some daylight between him and the competition. The three quarters and one, 30 and one. He's pacing strong on the front end. He has them by eight open lanes. Foremost, Dave is two. Muscadabit battling to stay with them, three. Granite Gambler up on the outside, four. Turning for home and halfway through the stretch, it's all in on top. He destroys this field, wins comfortably. In on two, foremost, Dave down on the inside. It looks like Oyster Stew grabs the three. Race nine, number two in your card, in on top. He's a four-year-old bay facing horse by ratio, owned by the five-acre stable. Trained by Philip Lines, Jim Davis does the driving race. In on top, paces off the fastest mile of the season in the Maritimes, 158 and four fifths. Nine entries up behind the gate, race 10, race me marble, TH Terminator, all Canadian. Dandy Guy, Champion Angus, Diamond Elmahurst, Guinness, Richter, and T.A. Sherry. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Dandy Guy out first looking for the lead. Down on the inside, Race Me Marble has the top. Dandy Guy up on the outside, driving now to the front. Race Me Marble is two. P.H. Terminator watches them three. Champion Angus slips in the four. Guinness finds a spot in five. All Canadian racing at a six. Up on the outside, Del Diamond Elmahurst is seven. Looking at it from eight is T.H. Sherry and Richter at the back. They race on to the opening quarter. It's Dandy Guy coming quickly on the outside. Now taking over two is Guinness. Driving down three on the inside is Race Me Marble. Diamond Elmahurst up on the outside, covered up from four. P.H. Terminator looks at it five. All Canadian racing six. Champion Angus is 7, P.H. Sherry and Richter having problems at the back. The opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. It's Dandy Guy off the top by 1. Guinness goes a tough trip up on the outside, too. Down on the inside. Racing at a 3 is Race Me Marble. Diamond Elmahurst has the cover 4. Racing now 5, Champion Angus, P.H. Terminator is 6. They move now past the half in 101. On the front end is Dandy Guy. Guinness is still there too. Race Me Marble, three. Diamond Elmahurst goes three deep, four. PH Terminator to the outside, five. Champion Angus along the rail is six. Looking at it, seven is all Canadian and PH Sherry moving from the back. They move down the back stretch past the three quarters. It's still Guinness and Dandy Guy doing battle at the front end. PH Terminator comes out of the pack to grab three. On to the top turn, second and final time. Dandy Guy hangs tough. Up on the outside, still there too is Guinness. PH Terminator sticks to the rail three. Champion Angus gets shook loose four. Three quarters, 131 and two. There's four of them all have a shot. Off the turn, Dandy Guy trying to close it out. Guinness is still there too. PH Terminator down in the passing lane is three. Champion Angus on the outside four. Dandy Guy, PH Terminator. Dandy Guy holds on to win it. It's close. Four place and show. Your unofficial winner of race 10, number four in your card, Dandy Guy. He's a four year old bay pacing horse by Armbro Omaha. Owned by Terry Osborne. Darren Crow does the driving. Time of the mile, 2 2 and 1. For number four, Dandy Guy. Eight entries up behind the gate. Logs Eagle, Harriator, Bell Edition, Amity Charge, Bio Amber, Moonwatch, Diana Royce, and Joe Sixpack. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come.
They're off and pacing. Amity charge fires out from the outside down along the rail as Logs Eagle. Harry Eater comes out of it three. Bell Edition looks at it from four. Joe Six Pack up on the outside is five. Bio Amber pacing at a six. Down the back stretch to the opening quarter up front is Logs Eagle by one. Amity charge up on the outside two. Harry Eater driving at a three. Joe Six Pack on the outside four. Bell Edition looks at it from five. Bio Amber is six. Diana Royce pacing at a seven and Moonwatch at the back. They race past the opening quarter. It's Logs Eagle gets in there, 28 and four fifths. Amity Charge gets a parking ticket on the outside two. Harry Eater's tied up in three. Joe Six Pack moves up closer now to his cover in four. Down on the inside, Bell Edition is five. Diana Royce moves out into the flow now from six. Racing in front of the grandstand, Bio Amber is seven and Moonwatch from the back. They make their way past the half. On the front end, it's still Logs Eagle by one. Amity Charge on the outside is two. Harry Ader well spotted in three. Joe Six Pack is four. Bell Edition five, the half and 58 and two fifths. On the outside six, Diana Royce. They move down the back stretch to the three quarters. Logs Eagle still the best by a half a length. Amity Charge is two. Joe Six Pack tips three deep from three. Down on the inside, four is Harry Eater as they move on to the three quarters. Logs Eagle opens up one and a half. Harry Eater up on the inside, now racing two. Joe Six Pack on the outside takes two. Harry Eater looks at it from three. Up on the inside, Bell Edition pacing at a four, three quarters, 128 and four fifths. Joe Six Pack shows his nose in front. Logs Eagle fights back two. Harry Eater set to come three deep from three off the turn. There's three of them in the race. It's Joe Six Pack. Harry Eater up on the outside takes dead aim. Fighting back on the inside is Logs Eagle at the line. Joe Six Pack cruises in. Logs Eagle two. Harry Eater gets the three. Your unofficial winner of race 11. Number eight, Joe Six Pack. He's a seven year old bay pacing gelding by Armbro Omaha. Owned by Walter Simmons. Trained by Blaine McKenna. Danny O'Brien does the driving time of the mile, equaling the fastest trip this season in the Maritimes, 158 and 4 for number 8, Joe Sixpack. Nine entries up behind the gate, race 12, Holly's Orwave, Tamworth Lady, Kid's Brother, Pass Due, Phantom Ship, Eliza Center. This Mendale battle Chewbuck and Bayou Angus. They're at the top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing past due out first looking for the lead. Holly's or wave down on the inside too. Eliza Center in the middle of the racetrack is three. Driving a four is Tamworth Lady. Eliza Center settles into five off the turn. Battleship Buck on the outside is six. The Phantom Ship is seven down the back stretch to the quarter. It's number one, Holly's Orwave, clear by a full length. Looking at it from two is Tamworth Lady. Holding down three is Eliza Center. They drive past the opening quarter in 30 seconds flat. It's Holly's Orwave off the top by a full length. Looking at it and tied up in two is Tamworth Lady. Eliza Center looks at it from three. Up on the outside, four is Battleshoe Buck. Driving five is Kid's Brother. They move in front of the grandstand to the half. No change on the front end. It's still number one, Holly's or Wave by a full length. Tamworth Lady is two. Battleshoe Buck is three. Eliza Center, four. Pass due on the outside, five. Kid's Brother is six. Sismindale is seven. The Phantom Ship. And having problems at the back is Bayou Angus. They move past the half in 102 and one. Now on to the 5 eights. Holly's Orwave still looks strong out front. Tamworth Lady is still there too. Battleshoe Buck goes a tough trip on the outside three. Eliza Center is four. Driving five on the inside is the Phantom Ship. Pass due six. Kid's Brother is seven. Sis Mindale eight. And Bayou Angus pulls up at the back. They move past the three quarters. It's Tamworth Lady out of the two hole now to grab the top. Holly's Orwave two. Eliza Center is three. Phantom Ship down on the inside is four. Kid's Brother on the outside, five. Three quarters and 133 and two. It's Tamworth Lady with an eighth to go by one and a half. Holly's Orwave is still there too. Eliza Center is three. 
Driving through the stretch to the wire. It's Tamworth Lady taking them on home. Eliza Center up on the outside, too. It's all Tamworth Lady at the line. Eliza Center, two. The Phantom ship down on the inside is three. Circle now, your unofficial winner of race 12, number two in your card, Tamworth Lady. Four year old Bay Pacing Mare by Maxi B, owned by Foster Cook, trained by Sonny Dunbar. Danny Romo picks up his third win of the evening with Tamworth Lady in two, four, and two.